Dalia Santos, hello Dalia. Welcome David. Welcome Flor. Welcome Marta. Hello Roberto. Welcome everybody. How are you? I'm great, teacher. Teacher. Very good. How was your day? My day was very tired. Why? Because I salí tarde del trabajo. I went out late. I went out late. I went out late. I went out late. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many hours did you work today? Mm, almost 10, 10 hours. 10 hours. Wow, that's a lot yes. of hours. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Marta. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I would like for you to please tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember about yesterday's class? All right, so we looked at a video. Can I have two volunteers? Can I have two volunteers to practice the conversation? Me, teacher. All right, Reina and Edwin. Reina, you are Jan. Edwin, you are Todd. Okay. It's great to see you, Tov. How have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about you? Uh, Riverboat store. Oh, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. easy. My feet are killing me. All right. Awesome. Applause for the participants. Good job. Any questions regarding this vocabulary? Any questions regarding this vocabulary? No, teacher. No? Okay. I would like for us to look at the following activity. For the following activity, we are going to analyze. This vocabulary. Present perfect, already, and yet. To study present perfect with already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. 
The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Now, what we're going to do in this section is we're going to write five examples using yet and already. For example, the first one is, I already ate in my house. I have not eaten yet. This should be the past participle. I already walked with my dog today. I have not walked with my dog yet. Here is not ready today. I already studied for the exam. She had not studied for her exam yet. So you're going to give me five sentences using already and yet. Any questions? Una pregunta. Yes, Edwin. ¿Qué significa already? Oh, already es, por ejemplo, si yo te, di, te, si yo te digo, ¿ya cenaste? Y tú me dices, sí, ya cené. Yes, I already ate. Y el verbo va en simple pasado. Pero si yo te digo, ¿ya cenaste? Y tú me dices, no, aún no he cenado. No, I haven't eaten yet. So, el already es positivo y yet es negativo. Yet va al final de la oración y already normalmente va después del auxiliar. I have already eaten. Another question.
not sharing. Nobody? All right. You will practice in pairs in the discussion forum. Ready, let's go. Ready, let's go. Hello. Hello. <ríe> Te escucho bien cortado. Eh, ¿Me escuchas mejor ahorita? Eh, un poquito. Es que se te escucha como Ajá, cortado. Mm, quizás sea el micrófono, no estoy seguro. Ahora ya te escucho mejor. <ríe> ah, ok, ok. ¿Y cómo estás? ¿Ya hiciste los ejemplos? Bueno, lo que él pidió. No, aún no he hecho, aún no, ¿y tú? No, yo tampoco. Vamos no, ah, a tener okay. que Entonces, empezar desde cero. <ríe> así parece. Sí, es que estaba viendo cómo era eh, la regla para hacerlos. Y me confundo porque como han pasado los verbos, algo así. Uh -huh. Entonces... En eso tengo un poquito de problema. Pero démosle si querés. Vamos, vayamos a la haciendo una por una y, y no sé si las podés anotar tú en el, en el pizarrón o, la, o, la, o las anoto yo. Eh, si gusta, lo voy anotando yo porque ya tengo abierto incluso. Vaya. Eh, son cinco y cinco, ¿verdad? Sí, cinco Vaya. y cinco. Déjame irme para la parte donde están las oraciones del video. Mm. Already and yet. Ay, aquí está. Vaya. Already, suppose, su, se supone que va después del hub, ¿no? Sí, estaba viendo que va después del hub o después del subject, después del auxiliar, del auxiliar o del sujeto. Quiero ver. Bueno, si sí, vamos con I have already Have yeah. you already yeah. eat, eaten? Eaten? Have you already eaten? Es como si tú ya comiste. It works, no? Uh -huh. <laughs> ponga, ponga, <laughs> Have you already eaten? E a ten. Así como se lo acabas de escuchar, se escribe. Okay. 
Otra. Lo que no sé si el arroz diría en la pregunta o solo en la respuesta. Yo creo que solo en la pregunta. Yo entendí que va en la respuesta. Yo creo que se pueden los dos, fíjate. Porque okay. si te fijas en, en el ejemplo que está en el video. Eh, ah, bueno. Sí, solo va en la respuesta. <ríe> Pero yo creo que se podría formular como pregunta también. But I'm not sure. Have you already eaten? Creo que sería... Have you eaten? Ya comiste. Ajá, y en the answer is... La, ajá, the answer is... I already... Yes, I already... Already... Or, eaten. No, eat. Or, or no, I haven't yet. Ah, pues ponerla como, como, como respuesta nada más. Pero es que vamos a, o sea, tendríamos que hacer todas así con preguntas y respuestas. No importa, sí. démosle. <ríe> Hay tiempo. <ríe> Esa había ocurrido algo así como. Ajá, ajá. I already, I have already, creo que sería. Uh, finish my homework. Ya hice mi tarea. Ajá. Pero eso no es, no es pregunta. No, eso sería una respuesta. La respuesta. Pero, pero hay que formular una pregunta. Hello, teacher. Hey, hey, I'm going to put you right now on section number three. Um, Finish, only, only, este, I don't have parish. Okay, I'll put you on number three. Hello, Monica. How are you, Monica? Hola, hola. Me escucha. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, is everybody finished? Or do you need more time? More time, teacher. Okay, so you need more time? Yes, teacher, please. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, let me give you more time. More time. Hi, Hector. We're going to give you more time. We're waiting for okay. René. Evis, Marta. We need more time. Yes, I'm going to give you more time right now. Give me just a second. I'm waiting for the other students to come back. Excuse me, what is the number for the practice? Oh, okay, can somebody help? Can somebody answer the question? Somebody to tell me what exercise uh, have uh, working right now. Somebody? <laughs> somebody? Anybody? Anybody? Nobody. Oh my God, that's incredible. 5.3. <laughs> Thank you. 5.3. <laughs> wow. 5.3, present perfect already and yet. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Thank Ready? you. Thank you. Okay. Ready? Let's go.
Hello, Reina. Hello, hello, hello. Reina. Hello, Reina. Reina, Reina. Hello, teacher. Hey. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Don't scare me. <laughs> Do you listen me? Listen to me? Yes. Ah, okay. Eh, ya sabes qué estamos haciendo. Ya sabes qué nos mandaron a hacer. That's right. Sí. Pero nos cambiaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Hello. Hola. Acaba de entrar. No. <risa> ya estabas aquí en el grupo. Sí. ¿Aquí conmigo? Sí. <risa> ¿Y por qué no me dijiste? Bueno, es que yo estaba en la plataforma, no, ve, no veía. Yo también, por eso estaba escribiendo. Pones que con la... Como lo hicimos en grupo, con la primera termina las oraciones, ¿y tú? Puchica, no, estábamos en eso. Ah, ajá, entonces la, la publiqué. Uh -huh, ok. Uh, espérame. Me voy a meter a la plataforma porque eh, tengo algunas dudas. ¿Cuál, cuál pregunta agarraron? ¿Tomaron de ejemplo? No, son oraciones. Ah, son oraciones, ¿verdad? 
No, no, no tienen que ser preguntas. No, oraciones. Con Jetty already. Mm. Eso lo hace un poquito más fácil. Sí. Sí, porque con la compañera nos estábamos complicando que teníamos que hacer cinco preguntas. Con no, eran las... oraciones. Ok. Is everybody finished? Is yes. All right, let's continue. For the next activity, we're going to be looking at the knowledge check 5.4, section 5.4 knowledge check. Instructions, complete the conversations. Use the present perfect. Use the verbs in the brackets. Instrucciones. Complete las conversaciones. Use el presente perfecto. Use los verbos que están dentro de los paréntesis. For example, have you done much exercise this week? Have you done much exercise this week? Number one, any questions? Any questions? No questions. No questions. Sure. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Let's yes. go. So, so. <laughs> you can do it. And you? How are you? How are you, Ibis? Hello. Very good, very fine. Yes, I'm fine. And you? Uh, very good. I'm fine. Um, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Hello, Regna. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. Ready? Begin for the activity? Yes. Okay. Uh, complete this conversation. Use the present perfect. Use the verb in brackets. Uh, number one. Number one. <laughs> Have has or have done? Yeah, have done. Have done. Number two. Yes. ¿Cuál sería la primera? Have, have done. Sang. Sang. Have done. Uh -huh. Have done. Has, has, uh -huh. Okay. El, el pasado de Duca. Oh, yes, I am. Ah, yes. yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't read all the say the sentences. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Number two. Yes, I. Espacio ready. Espacio to aerobic class for time. Y entre paréntesis B. Have. Yes, I have, have been. been. Uh -huh. I uh -huh. did. Uh 
aerobics class for already be. Number three? Oh, excuse me. Do you repeat me? Mm -hmm. The number two. No, sería la segunda. Did, did be. Why? No, sería have been. Porque uh -huh. have been. Es el pasado uh -huh. o es el presente I de be. already been. ¿Qué es el pasado de, de be? De be. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, no sería el presente perfecto el que tenemos que utilizar. Oh, sí, cierto, sí. Uh -huh. sí pero... Ay, eso, eso confunde tanto. <risa> Entonces es... sería la tercera. Sí, porque es B, porque es present. Ajá. Okay. Ver? Have been. B. Be. Have been. Have been. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí, es been. Presente perfecto. Been. Okay. Estamos bien en la primera. Okay. Number three. Uh, How do you, you play? Uh, no sería play it. Play it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, plate. Ajá, plate. Ah, ajá. Entonces, number one. Yes, ah, number one. Plate. Uh -huh. Ok. Number four. No. No. I have been. Had. No, have been. Had. Had. I haven't had, I haven't uh -huh. had. I haven't had number three, ¿verdad? Right? Ajá, uh -huh, number three, sí. Number five. Five. How many, How many movies have seen? You have seen. seen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería have number two. two. Okay. Have you seen? Hi, this one. Have you seen? Number six. Actually, I haven't seen, seen number one. Number one. And number seven. Have you been, you been to, to any interesting, interesting, interesting parties, parties uh -huh. recently? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Number two. Right? Have been number two. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, um, I haven't gone. Sería gone, verdad? Gone. Go. Gone. 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 Number three. Number yep. three. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I have you called? Call it. Any friends? Call it. Uh, number uh, the first. Yes, uh -huh, first. Uh -huh. And number 10. Yes, I've made, no, I've already made three calls. Yes. What's uh, the number? first? Number 10. Where? The first. Uh -huh. The, the, sí, la I, I may. May. Okay. Now we are. Yes. yes. <laughs> Barbara. Ahora, ¿qué dice en español? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, la, ¿La repetimos? Yes. Okay. Bueno, eh, Begin you, Ibis, and I started. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the last, the last one. <laughs> I am the have, last one. How you done much exercise this week? Que sería has hecho mucho ejercicio esta semana, verdad? Uh huh. That's it. Okay. 
open? Yes. I have already been to Robin class for time. V. Que, que se ha hecho cinco veces en la semana. Okay. Sí, he hecho cinco veces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, number three. Have you played any sport this month? Sería, ¿has hecho algún ejercicio esta semana? ¿Algún es deporte, perdón? ¿Esta uh -huh. semana? Uh -huh. ¿O has jugado algún deporte? No, I haven't had the time. No, no he tenido tiempo. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Uh -huh. Reina. Have you played Lion? ¿Cómo se dice eso? Uh, number five. Five, five. No, ah, number five, ok. How many, movies, how many movies have you seen this, this month? This month. Esta película se ha visto. Esta este mes. Ah, perdón, esta mes. Uh -huh. Así me. Uh -huh. Number six. Ay, gracias. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Any yet. De hecho, no he visto ninguna aún, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Any yet. Aún sería como aún. Number seven. Todavía. Uh -huh. Have you been to any entry parties recently? <risa> que si has ido a alguna fiesta. Interesante. Interesante no. <risa> no. <risa> so sad. Yes. <laughs> right now. No, haven't to any parties, parties for quite Part, a while. Quite a while. Quite a while. No, I haven't gone to any party for quite a while. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Have you called any friends today? Yes. algún amigo ese día? Yes, I I rarely made three calls. Made three calls. Do you remember yes. me? Yeah, what What is the meaning for I've? The contraction for I've. I have. I have. I have. Thank you. Ay, no sé por qué nunca lo recuerdo. Siempre se me olvida. Okay. Ready. Pero no traducimos la otra. Yo no la entendí. Parties for quiet a white. I don't know what is the name for quiet a white. Mm, so I'm Google Translator. I don't know. Save. <laughs> <laughs> no. They... No. I haven't gone. Creo que... Veamos. Teacher. If you can hear us. Teacher. Quiet away. Haven't gone. Ahorita, no. no. I haven't. Anybody's for quiet? No, no he ido a ninguna fiesta desde hace bastante tiempo. Ya, yeah, por un uh, momento. Sería desde, es esa, any parties, party, 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 parties, 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 ajá, parties, for quite a while. Ese quite a while es como hace bastante tiempo. Ah, como un mes de hace, o sea, hace mucho que no va. ¿Eh? Ah, ok. Ajá, desde hace bastante tiempo. Uh -huh. Eso significa. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. And Google Translator. Aunque no es tan confiable. Ah, yes. No es cierto. Hay unas cosas que no las traduce muy bien. O da un, como un significado bastante similar. Lo, uh -huh. lo traduce así como lo traduciría uno. Sí. <risa> Wait a minute. Quiero estornudar, quiero permítame. Bless you. And thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome back. Are you finished? Is everybody finished? Yes, finish. Yes, teacher. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Let me have one volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Number one, have you done much exercise this week? Excellent. Thank you. Number two. Yes, I have. I've really been to aerobics class four times. Perfect. Number three. Have you played any sport this month? Excellent. Number four. No, no I haven't had the time. Very good. Number five. How many movies? I know. Well. <laughs> How many movies have you seen this month? Perfect. Number six. Actually, I I haven't seen any yet. Perfect. Number seven. Number seven. Have you been to any interesting parties recently? Recently. Number, recently. Recently. Number eight. Oh, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Excellent. Number nine. <laughs> Number nine. Have you called any friends today? Perfect. And the last one, number 10. Yes, I have already made, made three calls. Perfect. All right, now what I would like for us to do is look at section 5.5. In this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Listen to the conversation, please. One, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Hi.
Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Can everybody hear? Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Yes, Listen teacher. and read yes, teacher. Teacher. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. All right, what I would like for you to do right now is ask me questions related to the vocabulary in this section. Do you have no, any questions? I have a question. Yes. What is your... Uh, la palabra long también se utiliza tanto para tiempo como para medida de longitud, por así decirlo. That's right. Have you been here long, referring to time, and how long, que tan largo, so long can use time and measurement, correct. Another question referring to this vocabulary. And about several times? Uh, several times, varias veces. Ah, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to practice the conversation in pairs. You will have five minutes. We will practice the conversation in pairs. You will have five minutes. Marta, Marta, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Ah, vaya. Pues sí. Me extrañó porque yo dije que otra vez me iba a tocar sola. Ya no. No, si estábamos, o sea, me metí y luego salía con muchos. Ah, ajá. Entonces, como que hubo un error ahí. Bien raro. Sí. Vaya, ¿Comparto pantalla o desde tu celular lo, lo vas a leer? O si querés compartir pantalla. Vaya. No sé si se ve. Sí, sí se ve. No, se ve. Ah, ya lo hice. <risa> Vaya. Vaya. ¿Quién quiere ser Peter o Mandy? Cualquiera. Peter, si querés. Okay. Inicio. Dale. Vaya. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chose, choose, no, sorry. chosen, no, choose okay. a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about that? How about Thai food? 
comida tailandesa. Ajá, me imagino. Tailandesa. Ajá. Ay, perdón que te interrumpí. Eh, perdón, no, por, comenzó otra vez. <ríe> Lo siento. Ah, bueno, entonces era. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I li I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it. <laughs> I ate, ate it a lot there. I not have it right. Mister Bing, I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I like I lived there for two years. Es que por estar, es, es, que, es que me quedé en que, ah, sí, después, después de lo que te pregunté de la comida tailandesa, abajo estaba la respuesta. No sé si me estaba prestando atención. Pero, sí, nene. Vaya, yo soy Peter. Ok. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I had a, I had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I, li I live in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. <laughs> I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Yeah. <laughs> tengo, tengo dudas. Okay. En, en el verbo comer en pasado. I ate o I eat. Sí, está. <laughs> sí, chef. Aquí está. Sí. Creo que no nos puede responder. Bueno, pero, pero repetí la pregunta. El verbo comer. En pasado. O sea, en... Cuando dice, actually, I have, I live in Thailand as a teenager. I, I... All right. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished. Yes, finished. Okay. So now you are going to write a similar conversation in the discussion forum over here. Instead of saying, for example, I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been waiting here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Or you can say, have you chosen a movie yet? Digamos que vas al cine. I can't decide. Have you ever, have you ever watched uh, King Kong uh, or Mortal Kombat, for example? Any questions? No. All right, let's do it. Ready, let's go. Todo Zoom en la compu. Zoom, sí. Para que compartas pantalla. O de. Hola. Hi. Hola, Ibis. Hello, Marta M. Dalia. 
Dale. Ok. ¿Me escucha tal? Sí. Ok. Entonces, si querés, hagamos... Vos escribís en la discusión, pero nos incluís en los nombres para que salga en grupo. ¿Nombres? Marta Mengíbar. Marta es así. Sí, solo... okay. sí, así. Okay. Ibis Méndez. Solo pondré los nombres. Ibis con V. Uh, con V. Hoy Iris. Uh -huh. Solo nosotros. Méndez. Sí, solo nosotros. Ok. Si quieres, eh, lo vas a ir poniendo con literales. O, el no, o nombres. Nombres, decía yo. Ah, vaya. Inventado, por favor. No sé cómo ustedes quieran. <risa> no sé, lo más común. Pone... John y Miki, no sé. <ríe> yo. No, no, yo no. John. Juan, pues, en inglés. Ah, yo, yo, y que mi. Ok, entonces el, eh, vamos a iniciar con una disculpa porque llegó tarde. Se le pone I'm sorry. I'm late. Va como vea. Sí. Ok. Entonces, ándate para arriba. Quiero ver la conversación. Ajá, yo creo que la primera frase es como lo mismo puedes poner. Have you been here long? Llevas mucho tiempo. Have you been here long? Ok. Ponele María. Y Pedro después. <ríe> Vaya, ahora otra vez. No only for uh, ten minutes. Uh -huh. Sí. Only for ten minutes. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces pone Juan. How do you choose a movie o a, a restaurant siempre? No, a movie, a movie. How do you choose Sí, era bien. Sí, la movie. Uh -huh. no, no. Era... I can't decide. 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 Es una E al principio. Uh 
Mm -hmm. I can decide between entre así con dos g creo en, al final al final dos e ajá ajá sí no. cualquiera <ríe> <ríe> cuál dónde su costilla King Kong. Uh -huh. No, pero para no hacerlo como tan copia de, de teacher. Chucky. Chucky, va. Chucky. <ríe> Chucky and conjuro. Ok, y igual vean. No. ¿El qué? ¿Las películas? No, conjuro. Se escribe así. Uy, no me acuerdo. <risa> vale. Y hasta por arriba quiero ver qué le sigue. No, I haven't. It is good. Mm. Entonces le puedes poner... No, I haven't. I have, yes, I have, como para poner que si ya la viste, ya viste una de ellas y es buena. Yes, I have watch. Sí, no. Uh, uh, sí, también, pero watch es como de TV, entonces. Yes, I already, I already seen, sería más. ¿Cómo se sería? Bien. Ocupando el already, creo yo, porque si ya la viste. Ah, correcto. Ajá. Ya es el, yes, already. already seen. Sería seen siempre. Sin. Porque como o son no. películas, no sé. creo que es el Oye, verbo esa... de watch. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. Si quieres ponerle watch en vez de seen, uh, yes. I already watch Chucky Pony. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up, time's up. Let's get ready to go. Please continue working on the platform, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 See you later.